All right, guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the 2021 Honda Pioneer 1000-5 Deluxe, which is the mid-range model in the five-seater lineup of the Pioneer 1000 models. Um, this one has an MSRP of $18,299, whereas the base model comes in at $17,299 for the base model five-seater. And then you have the limited edition model version of the five-seater, which bumps you up to $20,999. Now, what do you get for an extra $1,000 on the deluxe model versus the base model? You get LED headlights instead of halogen headlights. And then you also get 14-inch aluminum wheels instead of 12-inch steel wheels. And you get a 27-inch Maxxis Bighorn 2.0 tire instead of the 27-inch OTR tire. And then you also get these color matched body panels on both the front, the rear doors, and then the little stubby bed panel there too. And they do the same thing with the three seater versions in the Pioneer 1000 lineup too with the base model, the deluxe, and then the limited edition too. And we'll dive more into the limited edition features and what you get for that money in another video. This one's mainly just on the, the 1005 Deluxe to give you guys an idea of what you get for your money on it. And now when it comes to color options, you've only got three for this year for 2021. Honda's normally done four on these, but for 2021 you have Vapor White, this red, and then you have Honda's Phantom Camo as well. Whereas on the base model you only have red and green, and then you have matte molasses brown for the limited edition model when it comes to suspension of course independent front and rear you've got 10.6 inches of travel up front and right at 12.4 inches of ground clearance on these and when it comes to overall dimensions on the machine a lot of people ask me on those length it's right at 116.6 inches and then width right at 63 inches and overall height of the machine. These have a flat roll bar across the top, whereas the 700s kind of go up and at an angle, which make them a little bit taller. It's right at 76.4 and then 80.2 inches when it comes to the overall wheelbase on the machine and right at a 13.8 foot turning radius. And when it comes to the engine, as far as the specs on that, I would show it to you, but the engine is tucked up under the seats here. I've only got one set of hands, so I can't pop everything off. But when it comes to its specs, you know, it's a 999cc parallel twin with a unicam head design. Makes right at 72 horsepower, and these will do right at 67 miles an hour. And we'll show you just a few things in the interior. Of course, you've got glove box there, a little bit of storage, really the only storage you have stock on these and these do have a six-speed you know dual clutch transmission it's an automatic you've got four different drive modes you've got turf mode two-wheel drive four-wheel drive and then four-wheel drive diff lock as well and then over here you've got your gear position selector of course park reverse neutral high and low and you do have three shift modes you've got your standard sport and then you can switch over to full manual too and use your paddle shifters that are right up here and in here you've also got a little 12 volt power outlet hidden right down here and lever for the tilt wheel here headlight switch there for your on off and your high beams and hopefully you guys can see the gauge cluster a little bit pretty bare but it does give you the basic information, of course, RPMs, fuel gauge, gear position indicator, and all your warning lights to let you know when something's going wrong. And just as a reminder, all the Pioneer 1000s, the three-seater models and the five-seater models, they all have the, the same interior, they have the same engine, the same transmission, and they all now have power steering too. Um, prior to 2020, base models on the three-seaters didn't have power steering, but all the other ones did. Uh, just made it super confusing for a lot of people. Um, so now, thankfully, all of them have you know, power steering and then same transmission, same engine like I mentioned. Um, but what you will find that's different when it comes to drivetrain is on the limited edition models, 
you lose being able to manually lock your dips. What you'll have on a limited edition is you'll have your turf mode, two wheel drive, and then you'll have I four wheel drive for intelligent four wheel drive. And, uh, and then you do lose the load leveling rear suspension, which I mentioned earlier. Uh, and you do get a couple other things on the interior, like the cargo net down here and uh, a few other tweaks, but I'll mention more on the limited edition when we do a video on it. I just wanted to, to bring it up again. Engine, transmission, interior, all that good stuff. Same between all the Pioneer 1000 models, except for what I just mentioned. And this one is the five seater version. So you've got three seats, three seat belts up front, and then you've got your two seats in the bed. Don't just have to take my word for it. The other one folds up over there, super easy. Uh, but I've only got one free hand at the moment, so I can't do that and record. And the doors open up right here. And swing out for suicide doors in the back. And then your seat belts are right up there. They fold up out of the way so that way when you do use the hydraulic assist dump bed you don't have your seat belts getting hung up and in the way there and on all of the five seaters well all of them except for the limited edition you do have load leveling rear suspension you do have disc brakes on all four corners they're all four 210 millimeter discs and on these, you do have the 2,000 pound towing capacity. And I forgot to mention the bed has a 1,000 pound capacity. And when it comes to putting fuel in it, fuel tanks right there. And it has a 7.9 gallon capacity on it. And they want to remind you it has a dual clutch transmission. 2021 that's uh one of the big new changes that they did for this year hope you guys can catch the hint of sarcasm there and uh and not to be picky but tell me that sticker just doesn't look like an afterthought i don't know if it's the font the placement or what but i don't know that's me being picky i guess and yeah that's uh that's pretty much the basics on your Pioneer 1005 Deluxe. If you want to get a lot more information, some nitty gritty specs and all that good stuff, um, I wanted to keep this video short, but I'll have a link down in the description box below where you can click over and check out uh, my detailed breakdown on all the Pioneer 1000 models over at hondaprokevin.com. For right now, we'll just uh, we'll fire it up and let you guys hear the engine, a few revs, and we'll probably drive it down the driveway, let you hear it shift through the gears, and we'll call it uh, a video. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll, uh, we'll see you soon.